Uh, Connor Fields, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for coming in. Yeah. No um, we all saw your crash uh, yeah. on the Olympics, uh, a gnarly one, a good one. Um, how are we doing? Are, are we 100% yet, or are we still feeling it? No, we're still feeling it. Yeah. Um, Jeez. It's definitely improved. Yep. Uh, Pull your mic a little closer if you can. I Thank you. I feel closer to normal. Okay. Um, you know, in the beginning, it, it wasn't good at all and yep. we can get into that but uh the biggest thing i struggle with right now is just like energy levels yep so the best way i would describe it is imagine if you start your day with your phone at 50 percent battery and then you just have to be smart and strategic about what you use that battery for because at some point you just go flat yep. and so that's kind of where i'm at now but um other than that i feel pretty much back to normal in terms of like communicating yeah. and being so you weren't you weren't even like at the first were you troubling having trouble communicating and walking and anything like that like was it a tough go? Do you want to get into it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to know? Do you want to know Let's from from the? Do you remember anything? I have five days missing. Wow. Did they did did they induce in a coma? No. Okay. So um, I want to start. Okay. From if you remember. Yep. Do you remember the crash? No. But okay. I'll, I'll, so I just so where start from when you where remember. Where stops? So the morning of. The finals day, I remember what I had for breakfast. I remember going out to the track. I remember practice. Warm-up felt good. And then I remember we were on a rain delay. And I remember asking um, the director of Team USA, you know, what's the go with the rain delay? What's going on? And he said, unless there's lightning, we're going. Um, and then, like, 10 minutes later, I remember him saying, hey, there was a lightning strike within five miles, so we have to wait uh, however long right. before we go again. And then after that, Nothing. Nothing. Wow. So I don't remember the first couple of races that I did. You won. You won the second one. Yeah, it was going good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, I guess in the first one, I would assume I was just being a little bit safe because I didn't wet. like your. I didn't like your performance the first. One. It was wet, and I yeah. was just playing it safe because I didn't it's like it. Into that. So <laughs> I, was worried, I was worried a little bit for us. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, it got worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Um, and then the next thing I remember is in waking up in the hospital, yep. and uh, which was a very a day later or like no, later, no, no. a couple hours or August something. August five days. You oh. lost five days. Oh, so you, fuck. You you don't were you were you awake though during that time? So I was unconscious for five six minutes. Yeah, th this is all just from yeah. what I've been yeah, told. Yeah. Um, they loaded me into an ambulance. At that point, I stopped breathing, and they had to assist me with breathing. Um, we got to the hospital, and Team USA brings. This is actually pretty cool. I learned all about this. They bring um, a bunch of different specialists when we go to these Olympics. Oh, who knew? In case people yep. need it. Yeah. Um, you know, Japan, luckily, would be a, if you're going to get hurt, that's not a bad yeah. country to get hurt. Right. Rio, Brazil, eh, might not <laughs> yeah. be quite yeah. as good. You know? ah, we're going to flip a coin here. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the neurologist that Team USA brought came directly to um, the hospital, and had I needed surgery or anything like that, yep. it would have been him performing it on me. Um, wow, that's awesome. To, that's, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. That's yep. comforting. Yeah, right? um, for sure. So we got there and uh, immediately they did scans and stuff. So I had brain swelling. So we, I, from my understanding, if it swells, they have to cut the skull yep. and relieve the pressure. So right. he was kind of on standby for a few hours while that happened. If it got any bigger at if a certain got, point. They right, would yeah. have had to go in. I was also bleeding in three different spots on the brain. So they had to kind of wait and like, is the bleeding going to stop? If not, we're going to have to do something. Yep. Um, luckily, the bleeding stopped and the swelling went down. And then at that point, it was just rest. Um, but where it got really scary was for my family or friends at home. Right. They had no information. They tried to get over there, but due to COVID restrictions, yeah. they couldn't get over. Um, there was even a conversation where my dad was speaking to someone from the embassy where, like, if it was a situation where it was like do we pull the plug do we not pull the plug do we what like make, really jesus yeah, yeah. can he can i get over to make yeah. those decisions yeah and they were like working on it with yep. the ambassador trying to get it to where someone could come over um laura wasn't there right like no, no, she, she, no you there. couldn't come yeah no yeah. one could oh, that's nobody. Wanted okay to, yeah, yeah, you couldn't yeah. come so when we were watching that's the first thing heather said she's like i can't even imagine yeah. Yeah. yeah right and so for them unfortunately they had to wait but then you know and un unfortunately anybody who's involved in in motocross probably has a small understanding of head injuries yeah you don't know right away like how bad it is um when you have a head injury and so it's a lot of wait and see so at first uh, again i don't remember this they would wake me up and they would ask me what's your name where are you from how old are you just questions like that and i would like i would wake up and i would answer and i would answer correctly and then i would just fall back asleep because yep. i was so tired 
Um, and that lasted for a few days where I slept pretty much yep. the whole couple of days. And then I started to kind of come to and realize, you know, I, I knew I was in Japan. I knew something must have happened at the Olympics. Yeah. I knew what yeah, was okay, going so on. Yeah, yeah. But I guess from people telling me um, – for those first few days, I was like 10 second Tom from 50 first dates. Just <laughs> what, I, happened? what happened? I, I kept asking the same <laughs> questions over right, and over right. and over again. Um, That's common for people who, yeah. Who yeah. yeah. And uh, I just continued to kind of get better. And then it was just like, okay, so what's going on here? Like, and I would quiz myself just because I was curious. And like, I could remember my third grade teacher. I, yeah. like, I, I wasn't missing anything outside of those five, five days. days. Yeah. Um, so that was that made me feel a little bit better, but I was just so tired and just slept a bunch. Yep. And um, I could walk around. I just rem- I remember. How long were you in the hospital for? Uh, I was there for another handful of days before they released me to go home. Okay, all right. Um, but I wasn't allowed to go home without like a medical accompaniment. Yep. Um, who would take my blood pressure and yep. all that stuff right. throughout the flight? Right. Um, did you get the upgraded the first because of that? I did. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. <laughs> you know, the only, the only thing that was worth it in the whole journey. <laughs> yeah, I guess you know. Thank you, United. That's why I did it. <laughs> Thank you, United. That's oh, why I did right, it. Right. Um, United flies the Olympics. Uh, the United. Yeah, but Olympics. that's not why I did it. That's what I was, what uh, I was laughing uh, at. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. Delta is taking over that sponsorship next year. Oh. Well, yeah. Welcome to the sh- good thing you're getting out of it at the right time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's a shitty airline. <laughs> good thing you're getting. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was you know from what I can remember that was, yep. and then after that I went to the again. This is if you're going to get hurt, getting hurt at the Olympics is the place to get hurt. Sure, you yeah. get taken care of. Yeah. Um. So they they got me out to the University of Utah where they have a relationship with like the, the hospital there. Yep. And so we did more testing, and I I met with more experts, and we kind of figured out what where I was weak, where I was deficient, what I needed to do, and. Um, Did you have your motor skills? Everything good? So or? physically, I yep. was pretty good. Outside yep. of I broke a rib, yep. my shoulder was sore. I had cuts and scrapes all over me, yep. but I could walk. I had balance, all that. The biggest thing I I struggled with initially was I was just slow, like cognitively. Yep. So you would ask me something and it would take me a second to respond. Yeah. Or like problem solving, like and th- I did this in therapy a lot. They would give me like riddles, or like brain teasers yeah, i yeah, guess yeah. and it was so hard like stuff that would typically be easy it was really hard to kind right. of kind of think and it's something they, did they make you do any raffles for people <laughs> with motorcycles no <laughs> they, okay i was just checking yeah. all right okay yeah. but it, you probably would have got the same result had you asked okay. me all right. to do okay. it then just checking um so that was kind of the next step was figure out exactly what was going on and how bad yep. it was and then um they released me to come home and i still even now once a week i i get on zoom with the uh people that run it yep. up in, in Utah and we kind of go over how things have been, where we're going. And I'm at the point now, which is great. I'm at like high level stuff yep. um, where, for example, one of my assignments this week is to read a book and then tell them about the book that I read. So like remember yeah, what I was yeah. visually processing right. and tell them about it. You don't um, seem any different to me right now. I know you pretty well. Yeah. I, I, you seem a hundred percent to me. And y- yeah. That's been about the last two weeks. Okay. I yeah, would yeah. say before yep. that you would have probably, yep. probably yep. noticed it. What about but, Connor's kind of, yeah. But yeah, so yeah. see to me, he looks like he's a little tired. Yeah, I'm. I am tired. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I feel like you're I'm tired. A little slow. I yeah. feel like um, that jersey is amazing. <laughs> that jersey does look good. I have to tell you. I have to give you, man. I'm a Niners fan, but that's a good looking. Uh, it's fuck, just simple. Fuck all you guys. That's just simple. Dude, that's just a good he, he color, man. He threw for like 383 against your team. Uh, that's a good he's color. Leading the good for you. League in passing, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Good for yeah. you, yeah. Miami Dolphins. Awesome. When's the last time you guys won the Super Bowl? Like 1965. Undefeated. Um, Anybody else do that? Okay, hey. I think a, I think a thing that I was debating on my group text, and we were all BMX experts, right? We're all BMX, BMX experts. experts. Yeah, yeah, and, and and every Olympic, every time Olympics come around, you're all we're all experts in everything. Uh, every right? four years, yeah. you guys yeah. are yeah. so into it. Yeah. But <laughs> any, <laughs> you've you've obviously one. watched it back. Is yeah. was that guy at fault? Was that normal? Was that okay? Was that a racing move? Where do we stand with that move? So here's what I think happened. Okay. Um, and you went a little long. So. And knowing you have to know the player. So okay. the guy who cut over it and caused the, the, the crash, he is so unaggressive typically that he's at, he he's actually like people are like, dude, if, he, if yeah. you're more aggressive, you could win. Yeah. Like yeah. You're, he's so not aggressive yep. a lot of the time. Um, I think and you have to also remember that if you're at the Olympics, like everybody's riding a little bit more anxious, a little sure. bit more on edge yeah. than they typically would. But I think that we were three ways wide. 
Um, the guy's name is Romain. He was on the outside. There was another Frenchman on the middle, and then I was on the inside. That double uh, was way too short for how steep the lip was. Okay. All week, people were having issues yeah, yeah. with it. Um, me and the guy next to me, uh, the other Frenchman, both went long. So the guy on the outside, I'm assuming out of his peripheral vision, would have seen – okay, I've got two guys next to me on the inside. Yep. I'm going to have to tuck in and go around the corner in third. And then all of a sudden, in, the, in a blink, he didn't see anybody because he got yeah, backside yeah. and we went long. Right. So then all of a sudden, it looked like he was clear. So then he just was like, oh, i got to get over, yep. and then just jumped straight over. Fuck. And unfortunately, because it happened while we are on a jump, I can't adjust, yep. slow down, move, anything like that. One of those things where had he been six inches farther ahead – he would have cleared my tire. Yeah. Or had I been six inches farther back, yeah. it would have cleared. I would have tucked in for second. Wouldn't have been an issue. Um, but it was one of those things where it just freak accident. I don't think it was intentional yeah, on so his you, part. You're okay with it, like the move. Like I'm you, not okay with well, it. No, but, but oh, it wasn't okay. intentional. Yeah, not intentional. No, no. I, I, be, I, don't, I don't fault him. I don't yeah. think he was being yeah. malicious. I think it was just a racing incident. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I'm saying you don't yeah. – I'm just not okay with what happened to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know that. I mean, you're okay with the move. Like, you get it. You understand yeah, yeah. racing incident. I don't right. think he was malicious. I don't think he had right. any intent to put right. me on the ground. Right, right. Okay. It wasn't – it wasn't – it was – was it aggressive? Absolutely. Yep. Was it – a lot of distance to go over on the track in a short amount of time. Absolutely. Okay. Was he aiming at somebody trying to hurt them? No. 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 Um, so it's you know one yep. of those things where we have he reached out to you? He messaged me in the hospital. Okay. Um, and well, uh, another thing too, I was thinking, and again, all of us experts were debating this. Yeah. Like it wasn't the final. It you you were you were in the final. You were getting the, you already qualified. You know what I mean? Like yeah. So, so I hadn't. So I I, I don't remember having this conversation, but I'm assuming knowing how I am, I would have. Mathematically, I wasn't clinched. There was a scenario where I could get seventh or eighth and this other specific guy gets first. Okay, but bro, you weren't, that wasn't happening. Right. Okay. So I wasn't going into there thinking, oh, I just don't, yeah. don't try. But the other thing you have to remember is your gate selection is based on that lap time. Yep. So I wanted to be – I'm an inside guy. I like being on the inside. So I wanted to be as far to the inside as I could have been. He, the uh, Romain, the guy who I tangled with, mm -hmm. he was basically racing the eventual winner for lane eight because they both like to be on the outside. Okay. So he would have been trying as hard as he could to, to get his, Okay, so get th my question was, should, should he have been that aggressive in a <clears throat> semifinal? Yes, he should have because he wanted his gate. Yes. Okay, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because hypothetically right. – uh, let's say I won that I won that semi, yep. and then the winner of the other semi and, and I go in, and I have first pick. He has second pick because my lap time was a tenth quicker than his, and we're dead even down the first straight. I have the inside. Yep. So it's super important for some athletes, my, and I yep. put myself in this, to yeah, be as far right. on the inside as you can. I, I, was, I was equating it to like a heat race, like, hey, man, it's the last lap. I'm in right. fifth. You're in sixth. We're both that's going to the main. Chill, yeah. We're both going to the main, and you yeah. clean me out. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, we're in the main. Like, I did not know they went by lap time for gate. That third, yeah. that on the third one and only the third one okay. is the lap time for the next next round's gate. Got it. So he would have been trying really hard to get his pick, and I was trying to get my pick. So can you tell from the video that when he came over, did he clip your tire, your bars? Because I thought he caught your bars. My TJ thinks, like, your fork's it, twisted. I think his back wheel hit my front wheel. Yeah. And then when that happened, I would have jerked because yeah. I can't do anything. Yep. And then that would have been when my forks moved, I, I think, because I would have pulled really hard. Or it happened when I crashed. And then that was why I went face first into the ground. And I had no time to brace, to roll, anything. anything. Have you seen crashes like yours with other guys in your experience? Like, is that something – is that a – Race incident, as you called it. It happens more in the amateurs because oh, okay. they don't have the, the understanding of like yep. where you are on the track yeah, and yeah. things like that. Okay. Um, it, it it happens. I've seen it happen before. It's not as frequent um, as you know right. another yep. type of crash. So. Right. Hmm. That was a good one. It, yeah. I honestly, <laughs> honestly, watching it live. And I was so frustrated by trying to find the damn race mm. on my on my on the it apps, wasn't easy on no. the apps and the yeah. Yeah. anyways, I'm already angry when I was watching it. Um, <laughs> NBC Sports had it. No, not not, not live. Not, like, if you go no, if you go live. to their app, they anyways, had all the I had to struggle to find it live. Yeah, me too. So, um, anyways, uh, found it and um, then it was in a rain delay. <laughs> now I lost my train of thought. Now I was in rain delay. Did you have a head injury? I have had a few. <laughs> um, That's fucked up. Oh, because I do it all the time right now. You were talking about the crash. Did I just fuck you? I completely lost my train of thought. Um, 
Okay, so yeah. third one. Today, Junior. <laughs> I swear about the fucking raffle. Okay? I swear about so the raffles. let me ask you this. Okay. If I get to it, I'll, I'll think about it. Did you want to watch it when you got home and you were chill? Did you watch it several times? You just said, I'm good. I don't need to watch it. Unfortunately, I really didn't have a choice because like, I got tagged in it a thousand times on <laughs> yeah. social media, so I had no choice but to watch it. Mm -hmm. um, so I watched it. It it happened. You know, It's not one of those things that I, I, I'm not actively going to ser oh, search it out. I know what I was. Pookie just reminded me. Sorry. Okay. Damn. That's Pookie Good reading job, your mind. Pookie. What? Pookie reading your mind? She She's heard listening. She oh. heard okay. Go ahead. Good. Fair. Um, I, I'm not gonna like seek it out to watch it. Mm -hmm. I don't enjoy watching that, but I don't have a problem watching it because yeah. it happened and it's just you know part of part of my life now. Okay, right. so here's my frustration: watching it, see you go down. First of all, I don't know about you two guys, and it's don't don't lie here. I did not think it was that bad. Oh, I, I knew did. it was a bad one. Don't get me wrong. Like, but I if you had said like, hey, from that crash, he's going to stay in the hospital for for, for five days. You know what I mean? And, and like. I was kind of thinking, like, maybe he's going to make the start. Like, he, I, I saw you still made the main. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, okay, he's in the main. Like, it looks serious. But that, that's another part of my frustration was they showed people around you, but they didn't really, like, can we get some updates here? Yeah. Stretch it off. He was unconscious. Like, nothing like that. There was no updates like, hey, Connor Fields is unconscious. I could tell. There was no. I think because I stopped breathing, they probably were like, yeah, let's not say Was that anything. on the track? No. You stopped ambulance. breathing? Hey, I don't know. Oh, okay. You I, said, if you I said, said it was in the ambulance. Yeah, that's what you so said. So I've, I've been told yeah. I stopped breathing, and I, yeah. I've, I was sore on my throat because I was intubated. But, yeah. but yeah. I don't know okay. when it happened. I, I was, like, frustrated by the lack of updates. So that, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. my thought is if it did happen on the track or if yeah, somebody not... realized on the track, oh, this is really bad, yep. then maybe they didn't see. Right. Yeah, they would never – if the case like that in, in Moto2, they don't – They're they, not yeah, going to show they don't really it. Yeah. Say anything. Right. How many yeah. have you had? Concussions? Mm -hmm. Oh, I forget. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> I've had maybe five, like, bad, bad ones where I, I know I was concussed mm -hmm. throughout my career. I would – Guess there's probably been a handful of others where it wasn't one that was like you're right. definitely concussed, but you hit your head. Um, I hadn't had one in three, four years, and that's for me. I, I've always been like if I, if it was between a torn ACL or a concussion, give me the ACL. Absolutely. Even though most athletes would be like, oh, we'll take the concussion because <laughs> it's quicker. Um, yeah, long term. That's long term, I don't want to mess with my head. Like I, I don't want to sound arrogant but like i consider myself an intelligent person i don't want to lose that oh, look, at your um, look at your jersey you're a right. smart guy yeah smart uh guy. and i don't want to be you know i do know past athletes who have issues because they've had so many concussions um so oh, i look, look at boxing or whatever yeah you know so, many of those so i've had a, yeah. a few not obviously not like have you that. ever knocked yourself out yes okay yeah so i had one i don't know th uh, three or four years ago before vet nationals the practice in the morning mine was uh, came off a jump, swapped, and it swapped the other way, and then I fell backwards, and I went bam on my the Pino style, just went bam That's like that, and it knocked did. me out. Mm -hmm. And then I've had concussion before, but this one lasted like I had lingering effects for six weeks. And Shorty was really good with me with that. Like he he talked to me a lot, and he's he's like, man, I've had him do this, this, and this, and but it's so scary. I remember being in there with Heather like months, you know, a month yeah. later, going. You don't know if you're gonna get get it back. Yeah, that's well, what freaks me out. Like we're dealing with that with all sorts of sports, right? Nowadays, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah, like, it's. I told Heather, I go, if I'm like this for the rest of my life, that I'm I'm just get the fuck away from me, like get out of here, because there's no way that I could deal with myself, right? It's different than than a, a, an injury on your body that you can say my arm hurts, my leg hurts, this right. hurts, but the rest of me feels pretty good. Uh, when you just don't feel right, like something just doesn't feel right, it, it takes over everything that you do 24 hours a day. Yes. And that part about it feels really off. And I went through the same thing that you are like, what if I never feel right again? Right. Like this, I don't want to live like this. This isn't enjoyable. Right. So yeah. how, uh, how was your helmet? Uh, so I hit face first, which, oh, okay. is, which yeah. is I think part of why it was so bad because obviously a helmet has to have space for you to see. And, yeah. If you're going to hit a helmet, the back and the sides are probably the areas, this would be a question for JT, that would be better to hit because there is more padding and protection in the, in the, in the sides and the back. I went chin first, essentially, mm -hmm. and then hit my forehead. Um, so the chin bar is all messed up. Yep. The Bra sides did it break? are – The chin bar? Yeah. Did the chin bar break? Um, I don't think so. Okay. It's just all yeah. like yeah. mangled. Mangled. Right. Yeah. That's a good word for it. A bunch of scratches on the sides from when I rolled. 
Um, but I, I have it, and I plan on giving it to JT to have the Fly Guys take a look at yep. it and see what's going on right, and, right. and all that. The thing that I found was interesting, too. Um, so I fell my right side. Like, most of my cuts and bruises and my broken rib was on the right side. The left side of my brain was the side that had the bleeds because it hit the skull. Bounced, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I've, and that was the side that was swollen, which I found to be really interesting. Yeah. yeah. And which side, of the, which side of the brain? What does that? What does that left side do? Does it do your motor skills? I think skills it does the does right the side. I don't know oh, okay, exactly yeah, yeah. what. Because like, there's one side that does like motor skills, and one side that does memory. You know what I mean? Like there's different quadrants of the brain that yeah. affects different things. I, I so. forgot. Okay. It's great. So good. <laughs> so so good. Uh, Connor Fields on the Pulp <clears throat> Show, presented by the folks at Art of Sport. Uh, you can find Art of Sport nationwide at Target stores and Walgreens and <clears throat> CVS. All products under ten bucks. Charcoal face wash, any dander shampoo, all of it under ten bucks. Artofsport.com. Of course, Kenny Roxon's involved with these guys as well. Do you have, have you tried this? I haven't. Oh, we got to get you mm, some. It's good. Uh, Seven thousand five star reviews. Everyone from ESPN, Sports Illustrated, GQ, Men's Health, and more are showing them love. Uh, go to artofsport.com forward slash pulpmx to uh, uh, make yourself a uh, uh, an Art of Sport purchase, and you get a little bit of discount as well. Artofsport.com forward slash pulpmx. Uh, Thanks to Art of Sport for bringing in Connor Fields as well. Really appreciate that. Again, the hour brought to you by OGO. It says left brain handles reading, writing, and calculations. Some call it the logical side of the brain. You don't have much going on. No. <laughs> no. Not logical. No, no, no. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, people, I'm, I, I just fucking kick it. I was uh, reading some of your comments when you, you did a post, and people were like, hey, when are you coming back? You're like, dude, I don't even fucking worried about that. It, yeah. it blows my mind. Yeah, like, like how. Nice week. <laughs> and I understand it if it's a kid or if it's someone who doesn't know better, but like grown adults right. were like, yeah, like, can't wait to see you racing again. Like, bro. <laughs> Chill out. Like, give me yeah. a second. Like, right. I haven't, I don't even know what I'm doing. And it, it actually is pretty funny. So when I met with the neurology team in, in Utah, one of the things that they mentioned was we advise very strongly that during your recovery, you don't make any major decisions. Right. Don't go buy a sports car. Don't make a huge investment. Don't propose to your girlfriend if you have one. Yeah. You don't, don't quit racing if, if that's what you do because you're not right. And uh, it is funny because I talked to another friend of mine, not a BMX, or, uh, just a friend of mine who at work had an injury. And he was like, bro – I proposed to my, my now <laughs> wife like three weeks after I got this gnarly concussion and I was way out of whack and I did it. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna follow their advice yeah. and I'm not going to make any major decisions until but I go back and meet them again. This was your last <laughs> Olympics though, right? That's what I had said beforehand. Yep, yep. But I also planned on having a successful Olympics okay. that I could right. be all good. Walk so, off in yeah, the sunset. So yeah, I don't yeah. really know if like, you know, obviously safety is paramount and I yeah. don't want to do anything to put myself at risk, but... If that's the final lap, I don't really want that yeah. to be the final yeah. lap. So yeah. I go back that. in January. We're going to do some more scans and tests and stuff, and we'll meet with the doctor. Right. And at that point, I'll make right. a deci- I'll start making decisions that matter. I'll buy my sports car then. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, it's funny, though. The guys in Supercross crash, and then I get tweets, how are they? <laughs> Motherfucker, they just crashed 20 minutes ago, right and they got, they got carted off. Right. I'm in the press box. And if I wasn't in the press box, I'm not going to the ambulance. I don't know how they are. Yeah. Right. I'm not yeah, sure. You get answers pretty fast sometimes, so that's why people ask that. You'll post something almost instantly. So-and-so, yeah, I got word from the pit, so that's why they're asking that. Yeah, right. but usually you ask people, are they okay? You don't say, hey, man. They just want to know. No, all these yeah. guys want to know, if is their fantasy team okay? <clears throat> that's all they It's care. funny because uh, after mine, my last one that was pretty big, Heather – asked me a couple things. Hey, do you want to do this? And I remember going to a, 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 a game and a concert, and I'm like, when did I fucking agree to do it? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, you said you wanted to go. I'm like, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, the other thing, too, just to kind of touch on what you were saying, is like <clears throat> I've always I've been an athlete, so I've been on both sides of it, so I get it. And, yep. I, and, and a lot of people haven't been on both sides, so they might not fully have an understanding from another person's perspective. Empathy, you know, there's yes. not much empathy in the world these days. But it's like these are these are people. They're humans. If they've if they've got a bone sticking out, if they've had a head injury, let's human first, and then they can be the professional athlete afterwards. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you know, if they're going to be on your fantasy team right now. Like, yeah. let's make sure they're okay, and then when you know they're okay, then you can stress about your fantasy team. Right. And I say this as a semi-average fantasy player sure yeah i mean you're, you're right there's not a lot of humanity left no how does your fiance feel about maybe you coming back race does she have an opinion is it just she's got an opinion yeah 
maybe not the same as yours. By that smile, I know <laughs> yeah. what it, yeah, I know yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, 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 again, like put it myself in her shoes. I couldn't imagine what it would have been yeah. like to be sitting at home not knowing. They should have updated us more. Is what they should have done. Yeah. They should have told us more. Take it it's up with Weege. He's NBC. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> we just, just, just fall. It's always <laughs> we just fall. It's bullshit that you were you were out and, yeah. and, and I we knew nothing. Like, yeah, for days. Like I said, I, you were in the final. I'm like, okay, he made the final. Like maybe he can get up. Maybe he's okay. You know what I mean? Like nothing. Yeah, it was three or four days, I think, before I saw anything legit. No, I knew from somebody at Fly, I think. That, oh, okay, well, that see, I didn't, but I'm something. saying, like. Yeah, somebody was like, a, look at Max or somebody was like, oh, uh, yeah, he's, he's, it's, it's bad. He's, yeah. he's out. All things aside, yeah. the most important question, everything good. I, uh, yeah, I mean. No, I, no, he's, he's, he's talking to Kiefer oh. after, after dark. Here we go. Everything is great. Actually, you'll Perfect. like this. <laughs> <And> <laughs> this <laughs> might, <laughs> this might wait. Am I going to do after dark? Because I'll wait in this story until after dark. No, this yeah, is great. It's a great time. You can do after dark. Yeah. Oh, Oh. okay. <laughs> it's, it's not really that after dark. I'll, I'm just going to go with it. Okay. It's not that bad. So w- when I got to Utah to do my, my testing to see kind of where I was mm-hmm. at and what was going on, um, one of the questions that they asked me was like, and it was on a, everything was on a scale from 1 to 10. It was like, where's your sexual drive? Mm-hmm. And it, I hadn't even thought <laughs> right. of it at this point. And I said one. And I just remember thinking to myself, this is probably the only time <laughs> in my entire <laughs> life that it's ever been a one. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. We got a call for you here from Nick. Uh, Nick, what's going on? What's your call? What's your question for uh, Connor Fields? Hey, how you doing? What's um, up? Yeah, I was just wondering, like, are you, I know uh, if you're not physically there and you're not all the way mentally there, are you still, like, I know Olympics is three, you know, three years away. Are you still like that's your goal? Is that going to be one of your goals still? Um, I don't know yet. I, I'm going to wait and, and wait until I fully recover and and then just kind of take some time and and think about things before I make a decision um, on that. Whether it's going to be you know one more race or one more year or going all the way through the next Olympics, I'll probably just wait and see uh, down the road when I'm feeling better what I want to do. Yeah, see, I thought you were I thought you were going to come in tonight, and I know we had talked about this before, this last Olympics, you're going to get on with your career, your post-racing career. I thought that's – I was like going to say, like, hey, so when are you going to – you know, after you recover, are you going to get on your – but no, we we might be still racing here. We might be doing yeah. what you said. Yeah, 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 I'm going yeah, yeah. right. to follow the doctor's right. advice and not make any life decisions until right. January, at which point I'm buying a sports car. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, there you go. Anything else? Nick, any advi- any advice to the uh, the younger age group? You know that might take spills to get back up or to get back to it. You know, because it's kind of you know they want to see their hero get back at it. And you know, you got any advice for them for that? Yeah, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, when you're in a in an action sport, whether it's motocross, BMX, skateboarding, like risk is a part of the game, and and you have to understand that you're going to take some knocks and get hurt a little bit, and getting back up is is part of the game. Um, taking a knock when you're 18 though is a bit different when when you're 29 yeah. so it's uh, yeah. Yeah, it's i i always aimed to be a good role model for the youth but i'm not going to do something that i don't want to do personally just because it'd be a good you know role model for the youth all right man yeah. appreciate right. it thanks. thanks for the call man appreciate thank you. it thank you I, I like what you had to say about the brain injury right it's not like a broken arm or an acl it's this is something that can affect you for the rest of your life it can affect everybody around you and you're being smart about it so i mean if you're a kid and you're riding and you have a, a head injury and a concussion you need to give it some time you need to think about it you need to seriously think about the long-term <clears> effects <throat> of a head injury yep and, so. li- and listen to the the doctors you know look I've come back early from injuries when it's a ligament or a yeah. bone or something like that. I raced the last Olympics with a broken wrist. Remember the first yeah. time I came in here? Yeah. Pookie's bringing me ice, and two months later I'm racing. Right. Um, but like you're saying, the head is a totally different yeah. ball game. So if you're a kid and you do have a concussion, don't hide it. Don't act like you're fine. Yeah. Listen it's to not what cool they to say. Not, not in that instance. If, right. it's, if, if you're you know, bruised or something's on your body – yeah, you can tough that out, yeah, yeah. you know, if, if you want to, but not when it comes to your brain. Yep. Connor Fields on the uh, Pop My Show brought to you by Art of Sport. Let's uh let's do the